When we think of the holidays, especially in the Northeast, there are two things that officially kick off Christmas. The day after Thanksgiving, which to many is known as Black Friday, and the official tree lighting at the Rockefeller Plaza. To me, Black Friday is a real start of the holiday season, when the music switches over to holiday jams and you'll start listening to wonderful Christmas time over and over again until the holiday season ends. And the tree ceremony at the Rockefeller Center is known as the world's most famous Christmas tree. My name is Jose, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at Rockefeller's tradition and why this tree ceremony became such an iconic piece to New York City's winter, kicking off the holiday season all around the world. So let's explore the Rockefeller tree ceremony in the Big Apple. Greetings to everyone who's been joining me on tour and exploring the great history of America. And we couldn't tiptoe around the country's history without mentioning some of the great holidays the states have to offer. And Christmas, it's one of its biggest. It's time spent with family, shopping and enjoying holiday traditions. The Christmas tree, it's become a symbol of the holiday. And every year, what seems to be the biggest and most important moment is the Rockefeller tree lighting ceremony. And this is what officially kicks off the Christmas holiday around the world. But the plaza's tradition is still fairly new, only dating back to the 1930s during a darker period for the country. Closing time, the close of an era. The great big spree, the jazz age is over all over. In the 1920s, the great American word was prosperity. Now the 30s have begun and there is a new word, depression. The story of this famous tradition goes all the way back to the 1930s, where the world faced a crisis known as the Great Depression. And to put things into context of how great of a crisis this was, during our most recent recession in 2007 to 2008, the GDP fell by 4.3%, which took many of us years to feel confident in spending money again. Now, during the Great Depression, the GDP fell by 30%, which you can imagine was one of the causes that led to World War II. Unemployment, hunger, and reduction of goods created desperation and troubling times all over. And in 1931, Rockefeller Plaza was only a year into construction. And from that construction came the famous photo of the workers sitting on a steel beam and having lunch. This image right here from the top of the rock. Now from that image, there's a tragedy to it. While these workers were able to make ends meet, some of their friends, their families, weren't as lucky. And this is where the idea of the tree came to life. In 1931, the workers, needing a symbol to lift up their spirits during these troubling times, pitched in money to buy a Christmas tree. A 20-foot tree, which they decorated with handmade garland. Their families provided strings anything they could spare to decorate, which many historians say it might have been berries. And on Christmas Eve, the men lined up in front of the Christmas tree to collect their paychecks, the only miracle when the future seemed so muddled. The person who went on to become a publicist for Rockefeller brought back the idea of the tree two years later, and in 1936, the Christmas tree symbolism was born. This time, they had a 50-foot tree. It also marked the opening of that famous skating ring at the Plaza Center. And the first televised tree lighting came courtesy of NBC back in 1951. 
If you've never visited NYC during the holidays, I recommend you pay a trip. A mixture of lights and snow transformed the already vibrant city into a luminescent metropolis where millions gather in Central Park and Rockefeller Center to enjoy the famously photographed skating rinks or taking a horse and carriage ride across Midtown Manhattan from Central Park. New York City is beautiful during the holidays, especially when snow is added to the mix. And the Rockefeller tree is more iconic than ever, with the tree becoming grandeur in size since its first unveiling. The biggest tree that the plaza has ever received came from Connecticut and was recorded at 100 feet, truly a monument to bring joy to the world. This is Jose for On Tour. Thank you for joining me on learning more about this iconic piece to New York City's holiday. If you like what you see in a day, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share. If you'd like to know more about the places I've been to, please see the links below and stay tuned for the next video. Until next time.